I don't think I shot. Does he say there's an active shooter? That's crazy. Luckily it's not that bad, okay? That was warm. It's nice. October 29th, yeah. And your actual address? 64, yeah. Hey guys, so we're in a hotel now. Um, I just wanted to talk with the clip that you just saw. And last night when we were at my sister-in-law's, a murder happened down the street. And we heard, we didn't hear there was a murder. We heard that there was a shooting. And I walked outside and I said, there's a cop crash down there. So me and my brother-in-law decided to walk down to see what was going on. And as we were walking down, um, we talked, um, my brother-in-law had talked to some neighbors and there was a shooting that had happened. There was a car that was like stuck in the snowbank. Um, cop cars were there. We didn't see any other cops really at that point. So we're walking down, there's a guy on his phone cause he had seen the shooting. So he, I don't know who he was talking to, but I think he was waiting around for the police. Anyway, so we're walking around and I see a cell phone. It's like, oh my God, there's a cell phone on the road. It didn't register at first with me. I'm like, I almost thought to pick it up. Like I was like, and then I clued in, fucking should pick up that phone. And I said, Mike, there's a the cell phone on the road. And then he was like, oh. So then I said, I said to Buddy, I go, is there cops in those cars? And he's like, I don't think so. So I walked down to the police cars and there is cops like kind of on that street running back forth because they're looking, the guy's still on the loose. So the guy, the cop sees me and so he comes, he starts to come over towards me, probably to say, get the F back, like go away. But I said, hey, I just wanna let you know, like there's a cell phone back there on the road, eh? And he was like, what? I said, yeah, there's a cell phone right where that guy's standing, there's a cell phone on the road, just thought you might wanna know. So he comes over and he's like, did anybody touch it? And we're like, no, 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 nobody touched it. So um, he called his people and he was like, you know, we need to set the perimeter back. We've got evidence here. And then they said, um, what do you want us to do? And they said, well, homicide is coming. So they're, they're going to deal with it. Just stay by it until they get here. So we're like, holy fuck, somebody's actually been murdered. And so we had to stay with him for a bit to um, give him our information. And that's what he said, you guys gotta go home and you gotta, cause the guy was still in the neighborhood. One of the guys, suspects was still in the neighborhood right on the run. So he's like, you guys gotta go home, go back to your house and lock the doors and stay inside. And we did. So that was my exciting night last night. And yeah, I haven't heard anything else. I know one guy died. Another guy has been, is still in the hospital. Um, but uh, I'm not sure what else has gone on, if they've caught everybody or what's happened. But it was a pretty intense night. So I just wanted to fill you in on those clips. So I hope you enjoyed. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.